Hey everybody, this is your girl, Shella. Coming at you just on a personal level for whoever that don't know me. Uh, I'm on Promo STK at YouTube. Or you can go to Shella's Creation on YouTube. But anyway, um, just want to let you know a little bit about me if you don't know already. I have two wonderful kids. Well, grown adults now because they're um, 25 and 26. Going to be 26, actually. I have a daughter that's 24, will be 25 in August. And I have a son that is 25 and will be 26 in November. And um, I still call my babies because they'll always be my babies. My son, he has a prominent career and my daughter has a prominent career they're doing very very good for themselves i'm so proud of them uh they don't live with me they don't live in my state um so i miss them all the time uh but that's what you plan on you know your kids growing up getting out of the house and being on their own doing their own thing so um that's just a little bit about myself i've been a career woman working probably since I was 19, you know, um, I'm a half a century as of May of this year and just kind of getting used to that. But, um, you know, I want to try and do some stuff on YouTube. Uh, I got my nieces here for the summer. I've been getting all my nieces and nephews, uh, all my nieces from my baby sister, um, since they've been like four and five years old and, um, I enjoy them. I don't have any grandkids of my own, but I do enjoy kids. I love uh, seeing their face when they're being surprised with stuff. And I love kids that are grateful, grateful for, um, just the fact that, uh, they just, just grateful and love the Lord, you know, uh, we get my nieces here every summer and take them to church. And they love church. They love participating in the church. And the church members love them. And they show it. Um, so just recently, uh, last week, had a little part, bit of a car issue where my car broke down. And, you know, when you put things in the hands of the Lord, um, you got to just leave them there and have faith. You know, God says, have faith the size of a mustard seed and if anyone knows how big a mustard seed is it's not very big at all i mean it's tiny 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 but anyway to make a long story short uh i did have a ride to back and forth from work but you know god I always put a ram in the bush and i thought hmm, let me call my uncle so he's my um mom's blood uncle that's the uh, last from my granddaddy, which is my mom's dad. And I called him up and told him I needed a ride to work. And he came through. Came through. Took me uh, to drop my girls off at camp. And, took, and then took me to work. And then picked me up from work. And then took me to go get my girls from camp and take us home. And he did that all last week. And he said, Shella, you're my niece. And as long as you need me to help you, I'm going to help you. I didn't have to worry. There was one instant where his tire had gone flat. And he called me at work and said, Shella, I'm not going to be able to make it. He said, see if you can get another ride. Well, I called my husband and I told my husband. Oh, I forgot to tell you I was married. Yeah, I'm married. So I called my husband and I told him, I said, Lord, I don't know how I'm going to get away from work. Um, girls at camp, I'm going to get them picked up. It's like last minute because, you know, when things happen, it just happened. So he called his cousin and she came. Like I said, another ram in the bush. She came and I look out the door at 5 o'clock. She was already there. And she t took me to get my girls and got home. And then the next day, my Uncle Willie is back, Johnny on the spot. And then um, Saturday, um, he took me to 
Bondi's, because you know I'm a Bondi's for it, girl. He took me to Bondi's to go um, looking at a car that uh, one of my contestant judges, my judge, um, is a car salesman, Lawrence Keener. And he's awesome. You know, so anybody looking for a car, you live in the uh, surrounding area, uh, Dothan surrounding areas, check him out. Lawrence Keener at Bondi Sport. But anyway, he told me, he says, he told me on Friday, uh, for have been going and um, seeing him on Friday evening. Because, you know, I had a busy day Friday with my husband and his doctor's appointments. And then, you know, it, it dragged on and on and on. And I didn't realize how late those doctor's appointments were going to be. So I ended up having to cancel with him on Friday and saw him on Saturday morning and he's like you know he had this vehicle and he was like you know Shella uh got this vehicle and it's got like 85,000 miles on him like whoo it was like a I forgot the year like 2017 18 I don't know so that's a lot of miles I said you know I don't want anything with a lot of miles like that I said plus with those Ford Explorers you know I, I was reading up on them they have um uh, transmission issues you know that was the problem with my vehicle and he said, oh, okay, well, um, let me just bring it around. Let's just check it out. So he left and he came back and he said, Shella, he says, I got a vehicle I want you to take a look at. Gave me a little history on it. And it was a one owner. I mean, had like 13,000 miles on it, still under warranty. And he was like, Shella, um, I want you to check it out. He says, um, it's a Ford Escape SE and really nice. He said, it was the only one owner and the lady um, that owned it was like 80 something years old and the reason why she was trading it in is because she was on a cane and she was so short she couldn't reach the back of the trunk to pull it down once it's up and that was her only reason to turn it in I mean and I'm like okay you know God always do everything for a reason I, I never worried about getting another vehicle don't want a car payment <laughs> but I never worried about being able to get another vehicle so, um, he took me out to the car and it was exactly my specifications, exactly what I wanted. And it's like, wow, but God, you know, God knows what you need. He knows what you want, but he also knows what you need. And it was perfect. And I already told him, I'm not trading my vehicle in. I'm going to get my vehicle fixed. Because I invested a lot in, in my Ford Explorer XLT with the third row. So this uh, uh, Ford Escape SE, it does not have a third row. But if I'm keeping the other vehicle, I don't need two vehicles with third rows. But it's a gas saver as well. And it was awesome. So I took it for a test drive. And, you know, it has wonderful features. My niece was so excited. She hooking up her Bluetooth and all that kind of stuff. But um, and just to make a long story short, I did get the vehicle. Um, been driving around. It's still on full. It has not changed, <laughs> and I've been driving around since uh, we left the dealership on Saturday. And um, I'm just thankful that God saw fit to bless me yet again. And then you wonder, you know, it's like, why me? You know, but I know I had praying parents. Yes, I did. I had praying father i had a praying mother and when you have parents that keep you prayed up you have so many prayers in the in the treasure chest you just pull out and just go with it so um my kids my my daughter my son my son my daughter you know they're benefiting off of not just my parents prayers but my prayers as well you know because i'm being when i'm blessed they're blessed and I just thank God, you know, that he's allowed me to be here, you know, with my health. You know, I'm I'm diabetic. I'm not on insulin, thank God. But, you know, I'm trying to get my, my sugar numbers right. I need to um, lose some weight. I'm trying to get that right. I need to eat better. You know, my daughter living in Panama City, you know, she's not here to make sure mommy is eating right. And I should be knowing what I need to be eating and I should be eating right. I need to cut back on a lot of stuff but now i got my girls here for the summer it's like we've been eat 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 eating so i just wanted you know you guys to know a little bit about me if you guys want to know anything in particular just you know hit me up with some comments and i'm gonna post this video and i hope you guys 
have learned a little bit about myself. Um, I've been married since 2010. Actually, I was able to have my father walk me down the aisle before he passed. And my preacher minister at the time, Reverend and the noble, he was able to um, do the ceremony. So it was just a wonderful experience. And and we were married in September of 2010. And then November of 2010, my, da my, my dad passed. He did. My dad passed. And then my uh, minister passed the day my dad was buried, you know. But I said, again, God do everything for a reason. You know, we got married in a time where I still was able to say that I had my father to walk me down the aisle because I was the only uh, daughter old enough at that time that had been married, uh, gone to the courthouse, my first marriage. And I was, but I was the first one that got married. And then my my dad was like just devastated that he didn't walk me down the aisle. And then we, we were young. You don't realize, you know, the effect your actions has on have on other people. And at that time, I didn't. I was young. And he came to Florida to visit and found out that I was married. And he left and went to Miami. And my aunt Dora in New York called me. She said, Sean, did you get married? I'm like, yeah. She said, well, your dad is really upset. And he is in Miami. And that was just devastated because my dad's always been my hero. And I didn't want to break his heart. Then my sister Regina got married. My dad walked her proudly down the aisle. He was just the happiest. And then my sister Melissa got married. And my dad, again, was just the happiest. And he walked his oldest daughter down the aisle. So I said, if I ever get married again, my dad, no matter what, my dad's going to walk me down the aisle. And thank God, God made that dream for my dad come true, that he was able to walk me down the aisle and give me away, you know. It's sad that I don't have my father anymore. You know, I love my dad. Oh, my God. You know, I, I remember my dad used to sing this song. I feel like a motherless child. And I know what it feels like. I didn't know then. I know what it feels like to be a fatherless child. And I know what it feels like to be a motherless child. Because in 2016, I lost my mom. You know, and, you know, before I lost my dad, I just never uh, thought that I could lose, you know, anybody. I didn't know that, I didn't know about true loss until I lost my dad. And I haven't gotten over that. I don't think I ever will. And then my mom passed away, not even knowing who I was. So, yeah, it was rough. But um, I just, you know, I, I, I want to um, remember them as they were. And I love them always. You know, I I have sisters. I have two older sisters and I have two baby sisters. I have two baby brothers. My mom had seven kids. She had three girls straight. I was a baby for almost 13 years, minus a couple of days. I was a baby. I was a baby of the family. And then in one swoop, I became a middle child. <laughs> Was that even possible? So I have two sisters under me and two baby brothers under me. After 13 years, yeah, being the baby. But I love my siblings. Uh, we don't talk every day, you know. We love each other always, but we don't talk every day. How is that? I don't know. But, you know, once you have a life and and you have so many things going on and you live in different states, you just you just don't have the time to make the time and that's that's sad even you know friends you know that we had in high school college or whatever you know I, I see you really have to make the time because you know we have facebook and you know we connect on facebook we like comments we share comments but there's no interaction other than that and that's not the way god intended relationships to be 
but that's the way this world has 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 gone in that direction you know so impersonal so i just wanted to get up here and just share a little bit about myself i don't know if um you guys think oh she's talking too long we wouldn't cut her off but you know i'm just in my moments i'm in my feelings and i just wanted to just reach out to everybody and just say you know remember the faith that you need to have because all you need is a little tiny mustard seed of faith and everything will work out and just believe and know that when you take your problems to the Lord that you leave it don't pick it back up because guess what you got to give God the chance and the time because it's always on his time. You got to give him the chance and the time to decide on what he wants to do because your life, the meaning of you was established and it's written in the book of life. I mean, he knows everything. God knows everything. So you just got to trust and have that faith that God's going to make a way. And if you trust and have that faith that God is going to make a way, guess what? He's going to make a way. And I just, I'm just thankful and I'm so grateful for God has given me so many, just so many things, so many chances. And sometimes I think to myself, why me? Um, God has shown me so much favor. And I say, again, why me? But then why not me? You know, my parents prayed me up. I've prayed myself up. I so believe that God has so much more in store. Not just for me, but so many other people. You just open up your eyes, open up your heart, and just continue to believe and know that God is there for you. Ask not, and you won't receive. There's a knock at your door, open it. Because God's waiting for you to invite him in. He's waiting for you. And you. And you. He's waiting for everyone. So just say, hey, I need you, Lord. And if you can say that and truly mean it and give your life to Christ, you know how much more happy, how much more fulfilled you'd be that all your problems just washed away. Washed away in the blood of Jesus. So I leave you with this message. Where is your faith? Where's your faith? Where's your faith? Where's your faith? Do you have that faith of a mustard seed? I mean, sometimes I think to myself, you know, I do a lot of thinking. I'm in a car driving on, uh, and by myself and I'm just thinking, you know, and I get so many ideas. God just shooting all through my head, you know. But I say, why, why, why? Don't question why. Just know, just know, just know that it is because God has shown you favor. It's because he knows your heart. He knows who you are. He knows what you strive to be. We fall. We fall down, but we get up. We fall down. But we get up. Yeah, we fall down, but we get up. Because that's what God expects and that's what he wants us to do. Fall down. Yes, fall down, get up. And then something else I want to say. You know, in a situation with my car, my vehicle. God will humble you. Because I always try to stay humble. But he will humble you. And he wants you. You know, sometimes you think you're living your best life. And then... A crisis comes and people want to question it. 
Don't question it. Just know that God, if God didn't, didn't want you or want you in his life, God would say, you know what? Turn it over to a reprobated mind, but he does not. He takes you through stuff so you can remember. You know, all those good things and good times you had. Guess what? Now you're getting some, a, some, a little bad and, and not so good. But can you still thank me for the bad? Can you thank me for the stuff that's happening to you right now? Yes, I can. And that's all I can say is thank you, Lord. Because I know that he still shows me favor. Because in the end, when it's on God's time, you know that he is on your side. So I'll say good night. Today, I will say good night and see you in the morning.